What's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Chatting with the Cholo, where you guys will continue to be the audience, and I'll continue to be your heavily tattooed host, Cholo. Tonight, we're going to be jumping back in time to pick up our Comprehending a Comprehensive History series on Chris Chan, so please extend a finger to point and laugh alongside me, and I will see you guys in the video. Alrighty, guys, here we are with episode 12 of Comprehending a Comprehensive History. Big shout out to Gino Samuel 2.1 for putting together this 85-part series. Go check out his channel, give him a like, subscribe, show him some love. And uh, with that, let's go ahead and buckle up and take this ride together. Here we go. What made him this way? What is the attraction? What keeps us fascinated? This is the story of Chris Chen. On April 1st, 2009, Encyclopedia Dramatica announced that they removed the Chris Chan page from the site, expressing regret for portraying him in the negative light, and apologizing for any abuse or harm they may have caused. But since this was an April Fool's Day prank, the page was restored the following day. On the 6th, Chris re-engaged in communications with Joshua wait, Martinez wait, wait. <laughs> via AA. On the 6th, this person has Asperger's, <laughs> so you can't say anything bad. Be aware of that, you insensitive fuck. Be nice. As an autistic, this person is more sensitive, offendable. Holy shit. Chris re-engaged in communications with Joshua Martinez via AOL Instant Messaging. He apologized for the negative things he said about Martinez on ED and claimed that he was a changed man. Christian also told him that he credited Ivy for the rectification of his biological clock, which was the term he used to describe his sleeping pattern. Joshua claimed that he was friends with noted Disney actress Vanessa Hudgens. She apparently even chatted with Chris using Joshua's account, when in reality, it was Joshua who was playing the part of Vanessa. She claimed that she was interested in offering an acting role in her movie to Chris, but she needed further proof of his acting talent. He said that he would think of a sufficient way to audition for her. Christian's aversion to messaging over the internet had lasted only a month. Ten days after his so-called last video on YouTube, Christian created a new account called C. Chan Sonichu and offered a new video update on his life. Well, the Sonichu and Rose Chu site is back up again. The address is quickville.com. And I'd like to thank my sweetheart, Ivy, for her most heartfelt emotional support and for fixing my biological clock. What? And I also would like to thank God Jesus our God and our Lord and Savior, God for their Jesus. support for their support as well. I pray to them every day, and I follow. I am guided by Jesus. And I'm with uh, by Jesus. it's with the inspirations I feel I will continue the comic about three pages a day, unless uh, you know something comes up. We will be seeing many new many new things. The website will be better. I can feel the cosmos. Peace. Behind the scenes, Christian had been telling Ivy that his mother had been having reservations about doing his laundry Snow because lag. his recent outbursts of stress and emotion often manifested themselves in short spurts of uncontrollable self-defecation. His doctor had suggested that he consider wearing Dude, liners, what? or what Chris called, butt garments. Does Chris shit himself when he gets upset? That's very interesting. I didn't know that people could just get so upset at the internet that they shit themselves. It's fucking hilarious though. But he protested, stating that they were made for babies. On Easter Sunday, Christian uploaded Sonichu episode 19 onto his Quickville.com website, albeit not fully colored or retyped. Episode 19, Date Ed, aka Dating Education, even though the idea sounds dated, was meant to showcase how Christian's proposed dating education class would play out in a classroom environment. The story begins in Quickville University, where the aforementioned class will be taught by a character based on Sarah Jackson, Miss Jackarass, whose name is a blend word based on the surname Jackson and the reverse spelling of Sarah. She informs the class that for starters, she will be handing out Barbara dolls for the men and Robert dolls for the women. Miss Jackarass gives advice originally provided by nine-year-old Alec Greven in his book wait, wait. How to Talk Fast, be handing out Barbara dolls for the men 
and Robert dolls for the women. Miss Jackarass gives advice. Barbara dolls for the men and Robert dolls for the women. He used his fucking parents' names for this shit. Advice originally provided by. I kind of feel like there's a lot more signs now that a lot of people missed, me myself included, before he raped Barb. It kind of seems like it's kind of obvious that that's where this was heading. If you look back now, after knowing everything that we all know. Nine-year-old Alec Grevin in his book, How to Talk to Girls. Some of those in attendance include members of the Chaotic Combo, some of the main characters from the South animated Park. series South Park, Ivy, and notably two new Pokemon-inspired characters, Reginald Sneasel and Ivy's original creation, Layla Flaffy. Ivy and Chris, who is still in the time void, simultaneously have the same dream where God and Jesus tell Chris that Ivy is a sweetheart to be and is the one who will fix his biological clock. God also foretells of the vanquishing of four cent garbage, which would allow Christian and Ivy to live together in peace. As Ivy's vision ends, Miss Jackarass informs the class that all of them have been matched with other classmates of the opposite gender, and they are given their own personalized screen names along with the screen name of the person with whom they are matched. They are instructed to converse with each other anonymously via online instant messaging. Afterwards, Punchy attempts to buy a soda from the vending machine, but he only has W quarters, whereas the machine only takes C quarters. It is established that the value of 10 C quarters equates to 1 W quarter. The following day, the pupils have their first iDate class, in which they chat with each other online. Reginald is jealous of Punchy for being paired up with Layla, his crush. Wild and Simonla discover that they have been talking with each other and they fall in love. Meanwhile, Punchy and Layla go out on a date to McDonald's, while Reginald Did you guys see that? Oops. Wild and Simonla discover that they have been talking with each other and they fall in love. Meanwhile, Punchy and I'll have a Caesar salad, pickles on the side, and a diet cola. What the fuck? Oh, and ranch dressing, please. <laughs> These cartoons are they, they mess my brain up. They they make it hard to have a complete thought and uh take that thought and put it into words. Like fuck, I can't imagine what it'd be like inside Chris's mind. And Layla go out on a date to McDonald's, while Reginald dejectedly watches on. Angelica comes to comfort him. After a brief chat, they fall for each other. As the three new couples watch the sunset, Ivy sits alone, waiting for Christian's eventual appearance in her life. On the final day of the class, the teacher's sister, Rita Jackaras, informs the pupils that her sibling was killed in an automobile accident involving a truck. She proceeds to hand out the final results of the exam. The lowest grade in the class belongs to Clyde Raymond Quash. Later that day, Chris posted a video in which he states that Sonichu episode 19 has been completed and talks about Ivy's pets. My heart fully decade to my sweetheart, Ivy. I love you, Ivy. And also, she wanted me to dedicate to her pet hermit crab. Not fun. Got hermit crab. So cute. Okay. Also, want to uh, take a moment to reflect the memory of the uh, past uh, pop gal pal or trolls. Still, rumors are flying about. So, but anyway, the one who passed away, Sarah Jackson. Almost silence for Sarah J. Oh, cool. Mm. Peace. Oh, cool. Later on, mm. Christian filmed Peace. an additional video solely dedicated to Ivy's pet hermit crabs. Crabs. And it's my champ. We love you. Can't wait to play with you. Aww. Mm. Aww. Especially Ivy. Mm. Mm. Okay. Peace. Chris released yet another video that day, in which he embraces his sex doll Kimmy. Taped over her face is a printout of Ivy's depiction of herself. Well, here's Ivy. Hi, Ivy. Crabs and shit. Good little crabs. Good, good pets. I love you, Ivy. He quickly took the video down.
Oh my god. Fuck, I would have too. Poppy, start. I need cross some shout. Hmm. Poppy, start. In his fourth and final video of the day, what what's what's the goal here chris like what are you trying to accomplish like my son doesn't act like this my son is, my son is six years old baby cholo is six years old and he's way more mature than chris he's a big boy at school like he doesn't even need me to walk him up the steps to go inside like he goes he gives me a hug and says i don't need you dad see you later have a good day i'll see you at the end of the day and he runs up the steps and gives the principal a high five and he heads on down to teacher's class and they get after it they grab the crayons and get busy doing math and stuff big things happen down there big things in that classroom sure, way bigger things than are going on at chris's fucking pea brain he imitates a bunny rabbit while dancing the bunny hop for the amusement of ivy's pet look how crabs. fat and jiggly he is ew dude gross Brody. On April 14th, Chris resumed communications with Vanessa Hudgens via Joshua Martinez's AIM account. Vanessa teased him and tried to make him confess that he would abandon Ivy and have sex with her. After incessantly saying arousing things to him, Chris admitted that she had rigged his erection and had begun masturbating. The conversation thusly turned into a sex chat. Vanessa called him a bitch, and he, in response, typed out his barks. Christian climaxed as he exclaimed, Bam, 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 and in the aftermath, confessed that he loved her. He let Ivy know about their interactions. This is for my sweetest Ivy's eyes only. Two days later, the miscreants released a series of private, revealing photos oh, and videos shit. of Chris. The first video was requested by Ivy, who wanted Chris to prove that his semen would acquire the taste of the food he ate most often. However, he neglects the objective of the video as he pours some orange flavor Fanta into his cup of semen. There you go, Ivy. Orange flavored gum. Oh. Hope you enjoyed that. The next video was. Oh. Fuck. I've never watched this series in completion. I've never, I had never seen that clip. Oh my God. Oh my God. Dude. Mm, me. That one kind of fucked me up a little bit. Can't wait to see what we have here. It's commissioned by Vanessa Hudgens, which features a completely naked Christian pretending to slow dance with Ivy in his bathtub. Oh yeah, come on, let's go do it in the bedroom. Let's go. I help you. As retribution for the adulterous nature of his interactions with Vanessa, Ivy forced Chris to film himself spanking himself. Still feeling the issue was unresolved, Ivy ordered Christian to take photos of himself wearing a pair of adult diapers, which were sent to him by a troll. Ivy's roommates suggested that he write unfit for collection on the crotch area of his diapers. In order to still appear appealing to Ivy, he decided to take a couple of snaps while licking his medallion and winking at the camera. On the day of the leaks, Chris had another chat with Vanessa. This time, he rejected her advances. Nevertheless, he attempted to arrange a date with her at a McDonald's in Charlottesville. The next day, Christian uploaded a video on YouTube in which he apologizes to and expresses his devotion for Ivy, who is represented by his sex doll. Uh, Ivy, I promise you. I promise you my undying love and devotion. I promise you my heart, my soul, even my virginity, and all my romantic ways, and all my emotions, my undying emotions, they belong only to you. I swear in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, maybe I would never ever leave you. I love you so much. I will never leave you. I love you too much. In another video, also uploaded on April 17th, Christian recites Matthew chapter 5, verses 27 through 30 from the Bible, which reference adultery, and further elaborates on his affair with Vanessa Hudgens. You could go down the rabbit hole of being a degenerate, and that's fine. Or you could go down uh, the religious... I mean, I know people do both, but... 
Jesus Christ, it's usually not, hey, watch me drink my old tongue, and then let me read from you from the book of Matthew. It's fucking weird. I have sinned, <clears throat> and I have made a terrible mistake. I cheated on my sweetheart, Ivy. <sighs> the other day when I was chatting on instant message with uh, Vanessa, she played with me, but to get me by telling me about how she was playing with herself and whatnot and trying to make me try to turn me on but for a while I resisted by talking about Ivy and my promises to her and I just didn't know how to react so eventually I caved in and even though I was typing in Vanessa I was actually shouting out Ivy I, I repent I wish to repent my sin and the in front of uh, everyone who is watching this, and, and especially my sweetest Ivy. Ivy, I'm so sorry. Please forgive me. I repent. What the fuck was that? Why'd he smack himself? And I also want to bring up another thing that comes to my mind. Because I heard that mind. shit, it went yeah. The trolls that are calling me and telling me that Ivy is a troll, she is not, because I have heard her voice. I have heard her voice for over a month, and she is true in her voice and in her heart. I know so. Fuck yeah, Even Chris, you know it. she requested the uh, recent items of question, that's sexual stuff, videos and pictures. I am being Money punished because the trolls are getting their hands on them. So, in the name of all that is holy and good, please, leave us alone, you trolls. Leave us alone. I have so much to live for. And I'd be a fool to lose Ivy to give up Ivy. I will never give her up. Two days later, Trolls leaked the unreleased comeback album by Christian and the Hedgehog Boys, which was largely inspired by Christian's relationship with Ivy. In fact, she is the subject of most of the songs on the album, including the reworking of Madonna's Like a Virgin. Like a virgin Just for the very first time I'll Never Leave You Ivy, based on Kate Bush's Wuthering Heights oh, Ivy. It's me, I'm Christian, I've come home And I'll never leave you in any way And I'm Sexy for My Ivy, sung over Sexy Back by Justin Timberlake Sweetest Ivy, you see these shackles, Ivy, I'm your slave I'll let you whip me if I misbehave It's just that no one makes me feel Oh my god, Chris. April, Chris continues oh, to fuck chat is with, wrong Vanessa, with you, attempting to arrange their first meeting. They agreed to meet at James Madison University, where Chris would arrive with a specially made sign, waiting for her to notice him. He also wore the hat he had won for his entry in the Parappa the Rapper contest to make himself more identifiable. However, she never showed up. In one aim chat, Christian claimed that he saw her once, and even called out her name. But apparently, she didn't hear and he regrettably didn't get up from his seat to meet her. As punishment for not meeting up with Vanessa Hudgens, Joshua forced Christian to go have dinner with him at TGI Fridays and have him pay the bill for the both of them. This happened several times. On one occasion, Christian lamented that he didn't have any money because he had already spent his weekly allowance on their last dinner together. As a result, Joshua ordered and paid for himself, leaving Chris to watch. On April 23rd, Christian released a video in which he mocks and physically threatens Clyde Cash. Oh, Mr. Clyde, I have a bit of a message for you in response to the one you sent to me recently. Basically, this is the impression I got from your message. Oh, look at me! I feel like a silly man! Look at me! I have, don't look at my silly bar! Look at my silly Mommy, I am the troll! I should be troll trolling! I should be trolling here! I don't want to do it! me! Look at me, I can not get of a tiny or something. <laughs> oh, you took out my city ball? See my city ball? I can't. Is he supposed to be making Clyde look stupid? Is that, is that what this is? Kick it in! Yeah! I'll put you in the face! Yeah! Ready? I throw something at you! Bam! Bam! 
Can you imagine if somebody came at you and threw a punch, like, in instead of, you know, popping? What if they came at you and they did this? I always thought the punch was, you know, supposed to bang. It was pretty simple. Just roll it, push it out, push it out. That's... Oh, and how about this? I get the angry! <laughs> I will call you out, Mr. Test! I will call you out! Come on, troll man. Punch that camera, dude. Come out, Punch you trollsters paradise. I'll give you a beat down. If you don't like that... Trollsters paradise. Yeah, tough cookies. <laughs> well, Clyde, I'll be calling you out. I know you're in my neck of the woods somewhere, so... Just come right on out and find me. Peace. The following day, he peace, uploaded a always video with the of peace. his hypothetical marriage proposal to Ivy, while Christian's cover of Celine Dion's It's All Coming Back to Me Now plays in the background. My sweetest Ivy, you mean the whole world to me. You have changed me and formed me into such a more sociable, much better, more humble human being. I'll never forget you forget that, and I owe you so much. So Ivy, I, sta I stand here today just one simple question. Will you do me the honor of being my wife, my sweetest Ivy? The days in the sun were so cruel. What follows is a recording of a short comic, which later came to be known as Sonichu Special 2, or The Wedding Comic, which depicts Christian and Ivy's wedding. Oh my god. On the same day, Chris uploaded a video of himself singing a song that he composed himself called I Got a Fish. I got a fish, would you like to make a wish? I got a fish, would you like to make a wish? I got a fish, would you like to make a wish? April 27th also marked the day that the miscreants leaked several more private videos. Look at that body, dude. Oh my goodness. The the doughiness, the gut. Look at that gut. And just round. So there is not a muscle, tone, definition, nothing anywhere on his body. There's no cuts. Dude, look at his arms. They look like a biscuit. And if you took that biscuit and went like this with it, like you do with Play Doh, you guys know what I'm talking about. If you do that with uh, dough, I feel like that's how you get Chris's arms and his leg. Look at him. He's the definition of pale, pasty, pastrami eating fat motherfucker. Also marked to the day that the miscreants leaked several more private videos of Chris. That's These were so originally gross. sent to Joshua Martinez with the intention of giving them to Vanessa Hudgens as part of Chris's audition process. First was a batch of videos which starred a shirtless Chris who attempts to display his physical prowess through a myriad of means. Feel my wrath! Including pretending to play Guitar Hero. <laughs> lifting an empty office chair above his head Hello. and finally lifting the same office chair with the addition of a basket containing books and other heavy objects. I watched you a man for Nantucket! Okay, okay. Imagine being Bob Chandler and you're telling one of your old war buddies or work buddies from at the Elks Lodge, you're down there telling them, oh, what's your son do? Your son's a dog. Oh, that's amazing. What does my son do? Well, my son, Chris, um, right now, he's showing people how strong he is by picking up a chair with books on it that he's spilling all over himself for the internet. And he's doing all this shirtless. That's what my son's doing. No, no, he doesn't make any money doing it. No, not at all. No, 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 no. I'm absolutely ashamed that this is what my seed has grown into. Absolutely. It makes me want to kill myself every day. I bet that's what it's like for Bob. I, or was like for Bob. The embodiment of being disappointed. And now for something completely different. But uh Oh my god, is, is he wearing Barb's robe to do this? Um... The leak also featured a video called Quick Flying Elephants. The video features a completely naked Christian running rampant around his room, playing with his toys, and yelling out seemingly random jokes and references from TV shows such as Monty Python and Ed, Ed and Eddie, in an attempt to demonstrate his personal brand of random access humor. I'm a woodpecker! The following day, Christian was told by Ivy that one of her pupils, a Chinese girl named Ching Chong, 
had seen the April 16th leaks of Christian's private photos and videos on Encyclopedia Dramatica and was apparently scarred by them. In response, I mean he made a captain's log explaining the videos. You know that was fucking funny. Ching Chong. It, sometimes shit's funny. You know that, uh, uh, first off, uh, the one with the Navy being drunk, it's a good idea, but, uh, you know, you don't have to do it if you don't like it. Captain's log explaining the videos at least leaks of Christian's private photos and videos on Encyclopedia Dramatica and was apparently scarred by them. In response, he made a captain's log explaining the videos. You know that, uh, uh first off, uh, the one with the Navy being drunk, it's a good idea, but, uh, you know, you don't have to do it if you don't like it, but, uh, I recycle my own semen because, uh, you know, yes, I do masturbate. I'm not ashamed to admit it. I saw a lot of guys, I'm sure, have done the same thing in their time. Basically, I, yeah, into the cup and, yeah, I recycle it. So that that way uh, I won't lose any uh, unborn children. So then I can, I can also still uh, have a, a good semen count. Keep maintaining that by recycling that. Anyway, from after that, the uh, second topic, the uh, one where I spanked myself. Yeah, I just uh, I was doing that for fun because you know sometimes I do random silly crazy things, and uh, sometimes adults feel pleasure from pain, even when they uh, do it to themselves. I mean, not to a point where they kill themselves, but I mean. Uh, just like, you know, spanking is uh, generally a popular type of uh, thing amongst adults. Hmm. And then the uh, third topic, which was the, uh, the uh, photographs of uh, me in adult diapers. Oh, uh, shit. Yes, I did uh, get uh, free sampling of diapers from a troll, but... Regularly, regularly, I uh, do not use them, but I just felt like trying to pair on. Never once have I thought, hmm, here's this 85-year-old man here that needs these for some medicinal reason. Maybe I want to try them on, too. Why the fuck would you think that, Chris? You fucking idiot. And it was okay. Not not a big deal. It's just, uh... But, you know, I wouldn't, I would not wear them on a daily basis. I wear briefs. I wear regular briefs. And sometimes I do, uh, I get very stressed out from, uh, people who yell at me or, uh, misunderstand me or talk bad about me. And between that and, uh, other real life stresses, uh, it just, it just builds up and sometimes, uh, I just have to, it just comes out that I sometimes accidentally, uh, poo my pants but I mean who has it in their lifetime I mean poo their childhood diapers much less poo their underwear most at people least once do in their lifetime I mean we're only human you had a bad lunch and you're on a job site things happen I understand that but Chris is talking about it like this is a regular occurrence it sounds like Chris is just like doing it it absolutely is something that you should be ashamed of you fat motherfucker Something to be ashamed of. I just want to continue to make it uh, perfectly clear that I am a uh, healthy, growing, nope. sane, nope. and sound-minded uh, adult individual. Wait, like physically growing? Because you're getting I fatter. And I continue to be treated and respected as an equal among the human nope. population, just as Absolutely anybody not. else. Absolutely not. An hour later. He uploaded not a another human video in which he denies claims that Ivy is a troll. Ivy is not a troll. She is real, she is true, and she is my sweetheart. We are going to be together in the near future, and we are going to have sex. We're going to lose our virginities to each other. And it's going to be awesome. It's going to be awesome. You know, the uh, previous video was also dedicated to a little girl who accidentally found the easy page. Her name was Ching Chong. That's it. That's it. Ivy is oh real. Oh my god. We are going to be together forever. I can feel the cosmos. 
Peace. Uh, Always that little start piece. Is, uh, April 29th, 2009. The next day, Chris addresses the development of his comic. I want to apologize for the delay in the. Holy shit. You got, it's literally two weeks past 15 years to the day that he filmed that. Oh my god. That's crazy. Because today's May 14th. So, yeah, like two weeks ago. Two weeks ago, and it was 15 years ago, he was getting rolled like this. Talk about a lifetime of just getting fucked with. Uploading of any new comic pages. I assure everyone in my fan base that uh, the comic pages are being drawn and uh, I'll have them uploaded uh, as soon as possible. And if possible, colored and retyped. So I thank everyone for their patience and their loyalty and whatnot. I'm about to go get my hair cut. Peace! Okay. Later that day, the miscreants leaked Sonic 2 Special 3, which documented Chris and Ivy's wedding night and their first time making love. The newlyweds arrive at the Double Quick Hotel and settle in for the night in their penthouse suite, which is equipped with at least five complimentary lavender-scented Glade plug-in air fresheners. For the depiction of the love scene, Ivy had instructed Chris to truthfully represent his real-life penis. Hence, the penis scene in the comic was produced by Christian pressing his own penis down onto the page and tracing around it, making it disproportionately large compared with the rest of his character's body. As they begin to have sex, they transform into Chris Chan Sonichu and Princess Ivy, respectively. They thank God as they simultaneously climax. The comic concludes with the couple having a chicken dinner while drinking quick orange soda served in wine glasses. Also on that day, Christian uploaded two short videos. Jesus. The first, Shut Up Brain, highlighted the fact that Chris's brain remained active long after his desired bedtime. Shut up! Shut up, brain! Shut up! 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 In the second video, Wake Up Brain, Chris blames his brain for his slowness of thought. I need you to give me some thoughts and some rational thoughts for the situation that's at hand. Come on, brain, wake up. Quit falling asleep on me. You only put me in an awful situation when you fall asleep on me. Wake up. Come on, wake up. You better wake up or I'm going to accidentally give myself amnesia in one of these moments. <sighs> on April 30th, Christian had his last chat with Vanessa Hudgens. She can Chris is batshit crazy. He is every fucking bit as crazy as Daniel Larson. When I was doing the Daniel Larson video, I, I think Daniel Larson is straight up one of the craziest locales I've ever seen. Chris is making a very good argument for him being the crazier motherfucker out of the two of them. Batshit crazy. Continued to talk about lascivious topics. Chris stated that he was excited about Ivy's visit to Virginia in a few weeks' time, and also admitted to owning a flashlight, which he received with a purchase of a sex doll. She also linked to him a gallery of photos of actress Megan Fox, who Chris mistook for Vanessa and told her that she looked attractive. This could be explained by the possibility that Christian is afflicted with facial blindness or prosopagnosia, which is not uncommon with persons on the autism spectrum. On May 1st, Christian posted a video for Ivy in which he describes the activities they will partake in together. Hey Ivy, I'm doing this video for you. Oh, we are going to have so much fun together when you and I are together. Hmm. You know, my mommy and I, my my family and I will come and meet you at the airport. And you know your choice, so take you to your hotel or uh, bring you back to my house. Hmm. I mean, uh, you know, we'd be hanging around so much and sharing so many fondful memories. <laughs> we'll have so much fun. <laughs> well, let's have a good time together. <laughs> you know. <laughs> and you know, we can enjoy a movie in the theater or in, at home or watch a television rerun. <laughs> Family guy! <laughs> and you know, I look, you know, I look forward to the eventuality of uh, you and me ha having our sex time together. <laughs> I'll do you so many, I'll, I'll do my best to pleasure you and keep you satisfied. Ew, okay, gross. Just for you. Yes, for you. Hmm. Roadie, dude. I know a number of good physicians and massages. Hmm. 
He has no idea how to talk to women, not in the fucking least bit. And it's always me and my parents are going to come get you. Why does he always mention his parents? And, you know, I know a number of uh, places we could walk around at. You know, we can walk about the malls. We could walk about the UVA grounds. Good places where there's plenty of green and sunlight. And we can walk the hermit crabs together. See, it's, he sounds like an old person. We can walk around the mall. We can walk around the UVA. His parents, like, they are clearly the biggest influence on Chris. Like, everything he does, it just sounds like an 80-year-old person in an overweight 40-year-old's body. I know Chris is, like, 20-something at the filming of this, but he's got the body of a 40-year-old. Hmm. Mm. Um, you know, wonderful memories. The wonderful memories. We're going to have lots of fun. And I promise, I'll remain your good boy forever and for always. And they got, and uh, my friends have been talking to uh, between on the internet and real life. They can vouch for me on the, how good of a boy I have been. Being the good boy just for you, Ivy. I love you so much. I don't, there is, I don't have one goddamn friend on this planet that would ever vouch for me being a good boy. Thank you so much. <laughs> Mm, look at me smile. Mm. It's my nice smile. I ran out of details. I know you guys can see me try to drink that in the background. I'm not about to fucking shake it when it's like there, so nobody's going to get me doing that. And it's because my Gatorade's frozen. I'm not doing weird shit. <laughs> I don't know. I guess I'll sing a song. Christian proceeds to sing the Mary Poppins song, Jolly Holiday, with modified lyrics. It's the Jolly Holiday with Ivy. The wonder that it's Ivy that I love. I love you so much, Ivy. I love you. I love you. Mm. Talk to you later, sweetheart. Later that day, Chris made a complaint in video form to the makers of Axe Body Care Products, Unilever. Apparently, it has come to my attention that uh, a bunch of... Uh, People of the uh, wrong orientation are uh, using the uh, S brand. Uh, and by which I mean particularly the uh, homosexuals. But You're a homosexual. The stereotype has been, uh, has been made apparently. You'd be gay if you wore it. That's so stupid. It's not, I mean, it's not true. I mean, I'm straight. And I have been yeah. using ATS for years. I'm a proud, I'm a proud user of ATS. Because originally, as it was originally sent for, and I quote, effective deodorant protection designed to seduce the ladies. And then later, uh, when they get sent to uh, the uh, shower gel, they continued with that saying, uh, hydrate your skin, leaving it so pure that she'll, th that she'll think she's the first to touch it. And then later again in the shampoo, it says here, get girl approved hair. Wash the trash repeat. Even though the uh, comments, the comments uh, sound uh, sexist, as I have learned uh, on their page on Wikipedia, I still feel that uh, it is a big misuse and complete immoral act that the homosexuals take use of our of the act brand, which is preferred, which is dimensionally and originally oriented towards the straight people. I mean, men attract ladies. This is the stupidest shit I've ever heard. Only straight men can use axe. And dude, what straight man is using axe? No, none of us that are trying to attract women wear that shit. It means they're straight. They want to attract the ladies. They're straight. Wait. Okay, I didn't come out right. In any case, axe was and originally meant for and should remain only for the straight men who wish to attract the women. It is not meant for a homosexual dude to attract another homosexual dude. <laughs> Ticks me off. It really does. You, you tick so, me off. It re you really do, you fat bitch. I hope that uh, Unilever, the company who creates the ads products, uh, see this uh, video on the YouTube. Also, I would like them to, uh, well, I would be sound like uh, some kind of bad person if I tell them to not 
sell it to the homosexuals, but it should be more obvious from the package that it is meant for straight people. And also, I would like to make the following statement to all homosexuals who dare use it. You homosexuals, stay off of our apps! He followed up with another video in which he reads out his handwritten he's serious letter too. addressed to the Unilever company, voicing his concerns about acts and their reputation amongst the homosexual population. I write this letter today with concern of hearing that the homosexual population wear the acts by spray as often as or greater than the straight people, like myself. I would ask to ban sale of and use of the products from the homos, but that would be retarded. Instead, I respectfully and humbly request that on Okay, let's play that one more time. I would ask to ban sale of and use of the products from the homos, but that would be retarded. <laughs> Instead, I respectfully and humbly request that on the package a statement like, such as designed only for straight oriented men or something strongly similar. Oh my god, please Chris. Please make this so and please do not try to blow me off for having an opinion about the product or having an opinion about the homosexuals because I do not care much about them. Sincerely, Christian Wilson Chandler Proud, straight, male, act user. Oh Inspired by Vanessa's claim that she contributed to her own Wikipedia article herself, Chris decided to register as Wikipedia user Chris Chan Sonichu and used his own user page to write a Wikipedia article about himself. The use of this space violated Wikipedia's policy due to its explicitly private content and lack of any information pertinent to the Wikipedia project. Chris's only contribution outside of his own article was made in the entry for high-functioning autism, in which he inserted himself into a list of famous people who may have some form of autism. His user page was promptly deleted by an administrator, under the impression that it was written by a troll. However, this was proven to be not the case, as in a video dated May 3rd, Christian asks for his Wikipedia user page to be restored. I have recently uh, started and uh, completed a whole bunch of uh, truth and honesty about myself in my very own Wikipedia page. But then uh, recently I hear from my uh, sweetheart who uh, looked it up, said that uh, apparently the text was released by the admin saying that I was not important enough. But I'm going to go back on there and uh, fair, you're do not. what they did, get all the uh, honest truth about myself put back up. And uh, also, I have the support, also, I have contributed a lot more than they think. I mean, I have my own wide fan base for my Science Chew and Rose Chew. I know I have contributed a lot more to my local society than you can ever imagine. I mean, I mean, I made the good grades in the high school and in the college and whatnot. I have what? done a lot of, bond, of good, honest volunteer work at the Pokemon Trade Card League, Game Card Game, Train Card Game League, before I got kicked out last June. Before I got kicked out. In 2008 by that, by that uh, jerk, Michael Snyder. And you but still can't anyway, apologize. Let's keep my YouTube, I mean, let's keep my Wikipedia page up and going strong because I have contributed a lot to society, a lot more than anybody can think. Doubt. And also, listen to my ancestors and ancestry. My ancestor, aunt, aunt likewise, is Anne Boleyn. So I've decided all the way back to Mary Boleyn. Oh, well. Think about that, Wikipedia. Think about that. Nobody gives a fuck, so don't Chris. Don't take me down again. I am well worthy. Chris, you smell like shit. No. I'll have a good day now. Peace. Inspired by this latest turn of events, CogsDev founded the Wikipedia, an entire Wikipedia-style website created for the purpose of allowing Christian to edit it in whatever oh, yeah. way he pleased. Go. It was around this time that Joshua Martinez sold Christian a PlayStation Portable at an inflated price, claiming that it was equipped with special features. Due to this incident, Chris was finally convinced by his pastoral counselor, Rocky Shoemaker, to talk about Joshua's actions to his parents. They decided that they would all go to the police to report Martinez's swindling scheme. 
While at the police station, Rocky attempted to have all trolls and online friends involved investigated, including Ivy, whom she considered to be a troll as well. This went against the channel's wishes to handle the trolling situation on their own. When Ivy found out about this, she broke up with Christian, citing his infidelity as the sole reason. He called her non-stop for two days after the breakup, which led to her calling Bob one last time to inform him of the situation. During the call, Bob revealed that they had been saving money to visit Ivy at Boston University, but ultimately cancelled the trip when the parents found out that Chris had been using their credit cards for online purchases without informing them and stealing large sums of money out of Barbara's purse. Bob said that because of the recent events, Barbara had threatened to kill herself. He ultimately decided that he would handle Joshua by himself due to his lack of trust for the police and his own son's thievery. As oh for the trolls, God, dude. Bob was convinced that Megan Schroeder, whom he dubbed that cruel German girl, was behind all of the harassment. I didn't know Bob was that fucking stupid too. He thought it was all her. Dude, look at those bangs. Those bangs tell me she's not a threat. It's very clearly 100% this dickhead's fault. Fuck you, Chris. Oh my, I didn't know Barb said she was going to kill herself because Chris kept stealing money. Dude, I couldn't imagine stealing money from my parents. No, they're the last people I would do that to. It's just a shitty thing to do. Like, they're the people that took care of you. Why would you do that, Chris? You're a fucking asshole. Piece of shit, dog shit that pisses people off. Despite all his pleas for her to reconsider, for Chris and his family needed all the help they could get, Ivy insisted that the relationship was over and cut all ties with the Chandlers. On May 5th, the video in which Chris talks about recycling semen, spanking himself, and his fecal incontinence was linked on the news oddity website FARC.com and gained over 200,000 views in 24 hours. Three days later, it was posted on the Awful Vision section of SomethingAwful.com. More and more unsuspecting viewers began to happen upon Christian's internet antics. A few days later, the hosts of the Toucher and Rich show, a Boston area radio show on WBCN, featured some of Chris's recent videos and discussed the growing awareness of the Chris Chan lore. Here is the deal. We got sent a email from a guy who said, look, at this is the most disturbing thing I've seen in a really long time. What the F is up with this guy? He's got a million videos up on the internet, and he also apparently has a comic book that he draws and puts up on the internet. Oh, boy. Which is, I don't even want to get into, but if what I read is true, it's horribly disturbing. Incredibly fucking disturbing. Or to the eventuality of uh, you and me having our sex time together. Oh. Imagine being told that I look forward to the eventuality of uh, you and me having our sex time together. Gross, dude. Grody. Oh. <laughs> I love you so much. I love you so much. Ew, it's even worse when he says I love you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. yeah. I got chills. Away. I know. <laughs> I got chills. Ew, Chris was also featured on The Kevin and Bean Show on California's K-Rock FM. I recycle my own f Oh. Dude. Wow. Yeah, I recycle it. You went on a fucking radio show and said that shit? I mean, it's bad enough that you put the video up. I could that shit rocked me earlier in the video when we saw that because I'd never seen that and that was my first time seeing that clip and even though it was censored still pretty fucking jarring like fuck dude do you keep anything to yourself it seems to me I think this is a, a rule of thumb nothing that comes out of the body <laughs> needs to be saved or no, recycled no. or treasured right? just let it go this Good is point. taking Good recycling point. maybe a little too far <laughs> is what we're saying later on he was discussed on the XM Salad radio show, Opie and Anthony. No way. I recycle my own semen. Wait a minute. He recycles it. Yes. So now, there, does he eat it? I'm going to find out there, Anthony. But he recycles other people's, too. Look at him. He's, he's toys little, in his room. He's a little nerdy kid with a... Yeah. With a controller. Is he he's retarded? All, he's definitely prematurely balding. <laughs> and he's got big glasses. Mm -hmm. And... He seems to be a little effeminate Xbox controller of some sort and action figures all over the place. Yeah. Uh, let's, over, let's, over his room that is obviously in his parents' house. The man's a complete asshole. <laughs> yeah. Let's find out. Yeah, he absolutely is 11th, a complete asshole. Christian wrote an yes. essay very, titled very Chris well Chan's Heroic well Dream for Our Community, Now and in the Future, The Solution, Dating Education, in which he discussed the possible benefits of a dating education class. That's fucking dumb, Chris. That's really fucking stupid. 
There's no college student on the planet that needs a dating education class. That's so fucking dumb. It was entered into the 2009 Community Support Contest, but did not win. Good. Three days later, Christian created a new account on ED, Chris Chan Sonichu, and made the following this post article. on the Chris Chan Talk page on Encyclopedia Dramatica. I have learned that there was a connection between her and a state in Washington where some of you have been lurking, and that she was not found in any public records. It took me a week to recover from the crestfallen emotions, but I'm moving on with my life. Also, you'll have to catch me IRL only to troll me any further. Do you dare? Peace out, Christian Weston Chandler. On May 15th, Chris removed all videos concerning Ivy, leading Clyde Cash to publicly announce that the Chris and Ivy relationship was over. On the same day, Quickville.com was hacked, and text was edited to berate Chris for his unwillingness to finish Sonichu issue 9. Over the course of the following berated. few days, the website was further vandalized Purple with images bitch. of Joshua Martinez and Vanessa Hudgens, and text insinuating that they had sex. The site was further altered with an insertion of a doctored photograph of Christian attending a Dickhead. gay pride parade. The recent burst of attention Christian had gotten was unfortunately not because of Sonichu, but rather his own unusual actions. In any case, he paid little attention to the thousands of eyes watching him, and he simply carried on with his life, undoubtedly to encounter more trolls, sweethearts, challenges, and challengers. That's okay, we're here to take on those trolls, challenges, challengers, all that shit right here alongside with them. We're here to point our finger and laugh. Thank you guys, if you made it to the end of that one, I do appreciate you. If you're new around here, thank you for taking the time to check out the channel, I do appreciate that so very, very much. And if you are one of my OGs, you guys already know how I feel about each and every one of you bitches out there. Thank you guys again, and I will see you in the next video.